A new study analyzing over 4,700 post-exercise fluid molecules from firefighters suggests that it is indeed bad news for extreme exercise junkies. It looks like this may be problematic for people with consistently physically demanding jobs that require intense fitness training, jobs such as emergency workers and even athletes. Ernesto Nakayasu, a biomedical scientist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, stated, People who are very fit might be more prone to viral respiratory infection immediately after vigorous exercise. Having less inflammatory activity to fight off an infection could be one cause. There is strong evidence to suggest that moderate physical activity among healthy individuals can favor the immune system in the long run. But what happens to the immune system directly following vigorous exercise is still a controversial subject. There is very little reliable evidence that supports the claim that intense exercise heightens the risk of opportunistic infections. Although a few previous studies have noted self-reported upper tract respiratory infections in athletes compared to control groups after strenuous activities. Whether these are correlations or causations is still unknown. Nakayasu and his colleagues tested the blood plasma, urine, and saliva from 11 firefighters before and after 45 minutes of intense exercise in the guise of hauling up to 20 kilograms, that's 44 pounds, of gear, over hilly terrain. Kristen Burnham Johnson, a bioanalytical chemist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, stated, we wanted to take an in-depth look at what's happening in the body and see if we were able to detect danger from exhaustion in its earliest stages. There's no question exercise does wonders for our health, from boosting our mood to strengthening our immune system. But as in previous studies, this new research detected possible signs of immune suppression in the firefighters after they had worked out. Along with the expected physical changes helping our bodies maintain the increase in fluids, energy, and oxygen that exercise demands, there was a decrease in molecules involved in inflammation. This was accompanied by increased opiorphin. This is a dilator of peripheral blood vessels. What these changes ultimately mean for the short-term function of the immune system is unclear, but the researchers have a few ideas. The Pacific Northwest National Laboratory team postulated that opiorphin may increase blood flow to muscles during exercise to improve the delivery of oxygen and nutrients. They added, we propose that the decrease in inflammatory molecules we observed in the saliva after exercise might represent an adaptive mechanism to improve gas exchange in response to higher cellular oxygen demand. And there was a change in the participants' oral microbiome too. The scientists suspect this was due to the increase in antimicrobial peptides that were found in the firefighters' mouths after their intense activity. The team thinks this was to compensate for the immune suppression, although this conclusion has been contested. They elaborated, saying, This increase in antimicrobial peptides had no effect on inhibiting E. coli growth, suggesting a limited capacity of antimicrobial peptides within the oral cavity to protect against host infections. That said, other scientists argue some of the changes observed may not be indications of immune suppression, but of a heightened state of immune surveillance and immune regulation. As with all studies, let's look at some possible limitations. A within-subject comparison reduced the impact because of the small sample size. Firefighters experience unique exposures to pollutants during fires. This may also change their immune reactions. The researchers also noted that this study only considered healthy and active men, so further research amongst the broader community is needed to confirm the findings. However, the team concluded that taken with previous studies, there is evidence supporting a relationship between physical demands and a higher incidence of respiratory infections. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. Stay tuned for more videos on topics like diet, fitness, sleep, stress management, and dietary supplements, all aimed at enhancing your health and well-being, whilst also extending your health span.